Hi, welcome back. Tonight's feature story is about an innovative way now to treat burn victims. Fish skin, specifically tilapia, has shown amazing results. It has even saved animals caught in western wildfires, quickly healing their wounds and getting them back into the wild so they can resume living normal lives. Here to talk about this approach is Dr. James Gallagher, director of the William Hurst Randolph Hurst Burn Center and New York Presbyterian Wild Cornell Medical Center. Uh, nice to have you here. This is quite a story. A Thank lot of people have been interested in this. You know, this is your field. You're a burn specialist. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it was really devastating out there in California, the Thomas fires. And, and the, the devastation, I mean, human lives, property, but wildlife was also very much affected, as you know. And there were two bears specifically that were going to mm -hmm. show everyone, and also a baby cougar, mm -hmm. and how the vets swooped in there to rescue these bears that had been burned. Let's talk about that a little bit. What do you think? Well, what I, what I learned uh, is that the, the veterinarians have a special problem in that the animals eat their dressings. Mm. And so using the fish skin sort of obviated that. Yes. The fish skin is food, essentially, and they're able to um, swallow it and not have the harm. Harm their intestines would, as exactly, well. Exactly, right. that, that would happen if they ate the dressing. So they, they use tilapia, they use the, the skin, the fish skin, and this is basically a dressing is what you're saying, right? It is. All second-degree burns need a dressing. All burns need a dressing. Right. And, you know, that's sort of an operational problem. What do you do? What's available to you? Mm -hmm. And fish skin is something new. Um, and so I uh, applaud the veterinarians for trying I something. I know. We're looking at some of these pictures, too. One of the, as you know, one of the bears was pregnant. Yeah, uh, Third-degree burns, right? And then, but they're doing fine. They release them, and uh, they've got little collars on them to watch them. Look at these videos. I mean, this is amazing to watch the work that's being done out there. And you do so much research as well. You were in, in Africa uh, doing some research on there. By the way, um, this tilapia skin mm -hmm. procedure has been used in Brazil, right, on humans? Yeah, that's the first I had heard about it. The, again, the basic thing to understand is that whenever you're burned, yes. you have a wound, and the wound needs a dressing. You know, and so uh, skin is an option. There are other skins on the market. Um, there's pig skin on the market. Pig skin. Mm -hmm. Even human skin from mm -hmm. another person can be a dressing. Right. And so Tilapia is another kind of skin, um, and it was the Brazilian surgeons who are using it first. It has really not been shown safety, effectiveness yet. It's really new. Yes. Uh, we you don't been, expect that to, to see that procedure here in New York at all or um, elsewhere? I'd be surprised. Be we surprised. have a lot of good options, mm -hmm. but the world is a big place, and there's a lot of need uh, in low- and middle-income countries for good solutions. What are some of those other options? I know that, as we said, you just came back from Africa. Yeah, Tell us I about think, that. I think um, the, the, the lowest rung that I know, which right. is pretty innovative, is banana leaves. So not the, the skins from the banana, but the leaves from the tree uh, can be sterilized right in a burn unit. Um, we have a burn unit that we collaborate with. These are banana with. leaves you're saying? Yes, leaves. N not, not the actual peel, but the, mm -hmm. the leaves. Yeah, the big, wide, broad wow. leaf, which is, it's kind of nice because it is so broad, you can cover, say, a whole chest with it mm. in a small child. Right. And it functions as a dressing. Um, and really cuts cost, and uh, you can change it less frequently. Um, this was the standard of care in India for a long time. Mm -hmm. They've moved on to something called collagen, which again is a bit similar, if you think about it, to the tilapia. Right. It's, you know, um, so. Well, you know, we, we, we've talked about you know the, the use of fish skin and banana uh, leaves. leaves and so forth, <laughs> yep. and pig skin. Well, I mean, uh, what are we going to see down the road? I mean, with all the technology that's out there and the changes that are taking place, uh, what kind of treatment do you foresee? Well, I mean, I think it really depends a lot on where you're working and what's available. We have some very good solutions here in New York. Um, we are able to put dressings on people, and they go home most of the time with smaller injuries that mm. don't require surgery, whereas, you know, 15 years ago, they were staying in the hospital for yeah. daily care. Now they mm -hmm. go home in what we call multi-day dressings. Mm -hmm. um, and then in Africa, I think we're going to see more use of the banana leaves because they're coming from Fascinating. A, you know? Yeah, that's um, great. Well, and I'm, maybe I'm, tilapia's cake. Maybe. <laughs> it could be. I'm glad to see the progress. And, and wasn't it nice to see these bears doing well? Yes. And the little cougar, too. Yes. <laughs> All right, Dr. James Gallagher, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you.